In this video, we're going to be comparing Adalo with Amazon Honeycode and Google App Sheet. So first of all, what is Adalo? Adalo is a platform where you can create apps really sim simply. You can use different templates uh, to create some of the best types of apps that are out there right now. It's a really good starting point and then it's easy to you know adjust it, add different features, all of those things. Now, what is Amazon Honeycode? Well, Honeycode is Amazon's you know, first try going into the no-code field. It's similar to like Glide App, uh, it allows you to create uh, different things like task management, things like that. And um, also you can have automation and, and build on that one. Now, AppSheet, on the other hand, what they were talking about AppSheet is really focused on automation and processes. So I would, I would compare AppSheet more with trying to compete with Zapier and Integramat. Of course, they're going to be doing different things, but they're really working on the workflow and everything like that. So, so what are some of the advantages? What, would, what can we look at? Well, Adalo, again, when I, I think their marketplace and their template they're just spot on. They have a lot of different features with a lot of popular apps and it's really easy to start working on these projects. And in the back end where you can see all of your screens, it's really easy to, to build out your workflow the way that you want it. And just the experience overall, just love it, top notch. But again, there are, there's a use case for that, but why would you use something like Amazon? the Honeycode, the, this platform? Well, there's a couple different reasons. Number one, you're already, uh, it it's already integrating, it already has all of this set up to use anything else with AWS. So if you're using a lot of Amazon Web Services already, and you don't wanna have a third party that integrates or has to basically be the go-between, Honeycode's gonna do this. Also, they're going to be planning out having so many other features for Honeycode just because if you're looking at the suite of different products from AWS, it's on the same platform. It's made for it. So the, this is just going to get better over time. Now, using this, you there's not a lot of guidance right now how to use this from scratch. What I mean by this is through the tutorials, there's not as many tutorials as Adalo. So you're going to have to be familiar with a lot of the different terms or the different things found in AWS for this to be really beneficial for you. And also I view this more similar to dealing with like Glide app, but the learning curve uh, curve is a little bit steeper just because this is, you have to already know about relational databases. You have to already have all of those things spelled out and know how to use this versus if I'm using a dollar, a dollar is already going to have uh, prompts and help me along the way as I'm trying to create those things or already have those templates in place. Um, you know, like say for instance, the databases and relational information, it, depending on some of the templates, I'm already going to have that in a dollar versus Honeycode, they're going to already assume that you have that experience. And not only that, this is for different businesses that have a very specific workflow and need. So they're already going to know all of the, how they want the app to be. And then you're going to be plugging it in. So again, Adalo is more user friendly. This is really meant for ones that are just getting started. Honeycode, you already have your stuff there. And, and you're hitting the ground running. What I do like about Honeycode is just all of the integrations that they're gonna be having, and they already have, but what they're gonna be advancing, I, it, again, it's Amazon, so they're gonna have that uh, advantage. But on the other hand, they're, you know, they're not trying to make it necessarily um, really easy for beginner users. Now, if we're looking at pricing, if you're looking at right here, basic 2,500 rows or, or slash workbook, that's similar if you were familiar with like Glide apps. If, and just think about if you're used to using um, like Google Sheets or something like that, you're used to seeing like rows and things like that, right? So right here, so it's free for a thousand sh uh, sheets. No, 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 let's go. 
Okay, 500 data rows right here. 500 data rows, it's free. 5,000 data rows is $12, 25 and then beyond. If we're looking here, 2,500 free, 10,000 above, $19. And then 100,000, 30. So again, uh, there's definitely a price break um, with, with Honeycode. Also with the free version, data integrations with Zapier is free. And Amazon app flow and APIs includes 20 members. So again, it's the low barrier to entry to get started, really start building this stuff out. So that's that's pretty good right there. So we're starting at free and then 19 to build this out. So, and especially if I'm looking at comparisons, maybe a better comparison if we're looking at pricing or the structure of how they're doing with data would be Glide versus Adalo, especially against Amazon Honeycode. Okay, so we have that, and especially also too, if, if you're familiar with Notion, same thing, like so many blocks, things like that. So Honeycode is right there. Adalo's right there. Okay, let's see about the pricing for Adalo. Okay, so free unlimited apps. Adalo branding, limited to 50 rows of data. Okay, so again, we come back to the rows of data again. $50. Okay. Not bad. All right, excellent. And again, I also another thing why I like about Dollar, I can have unlimited apps if I'm trying to just get my footing thinking about a lot of things. I don't feel limited where I only have one app at a time that I got deleted. You know, I, I can I can fool around with it in, before I, I start paying, which is a really good um, beginning too. So if we're looking at that, so we have some advantages for Adalo, for Honeycoat, Let's talk about AppSheet. Now, AppSheet en enables everyone in your organization to build and, ex and extend applications without coding. So again, that's what they're focused on. But if you look at a lot of the use cases, they're focused on the workflows and the automation. That's the main thing. Now, right now, they're going to, they have a sign up for Q1 of 2021 to get started. So depending on when you're watching this, you can go see if it's open enrollment or if you're getting on the wait list. But AppSheet, I would, again, really focus on how are you going to optimize your business to run smoothly? That is the purpose of AppSheet, of a lot of their case studies and goes from there. So could there be more things? Yes, but they're clearly highlighting automation. That's where they want to be. So they're going to be going against Zapier, Integromat, PySync, all of those things. Okay, so that is the review of those three ish kind of platforms we had to glide but just to give our bearings if you're familiar with some of you know what's uh, a similar comp with their pricing and what you're getting so that's what we have adalo honeycode and app sheet now in the comments section down below let me know what you're looking for and if you have any other questions or any other comparison videos that you would like all right, I'll see you in the next video.